Hi everybody, thank you so much for your time. So in this session, I'm going to walk you through how to insert effect and also different types of plugin using Studio One Prime. Okay, so I have other videos that walk you through how to install Studio One and also how to use that uh, to create your jingle, etc. So you can watch other videos as well. So today I'm going to focus on how to help you insert different different types of effect and plugged in. Now let's get started. So first you need to open up your mix page. So how do you get my mix page over here is by going to the bottom right. Let me zoom in for you. Okay. So if you go to your bottom right, you will see a mix over here. Okay. So mix, this is the page. Okay. This, this is the button that you need to click on. So when you click on, your page will appear. Okay. Now let me zoom it out for you. All right. So, so over here, you will see all the tracks that I have. So I have my drum track. I have my bass track, um, etc. Okay. Now what I need to do is say, for example, I need to pull out my, I need to insert a effect on my acoustic guitar. So, um, I can go to the insert over here. Okay. But because all this is actually a free version, so you don't get to choose a lot of information or, or setup over here. Okay. So what you need to do is go to the plus over here. Let me zoom in for you so that you can see. So over here, there is a plus sign. Okay. So choose this and then scroll down to presonus do the drop down and then you can see the effect. Okay. So let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. So when I hover over to plus and you will see, these are all the effects that are available in the free version. Okay. So let's use the common one, which is the channel strip. So you can click on this and then the channel strip will show up. So this channel strip include a few things on the right will be your EQ. Okay. Equalizer on your left will be the compressor on the far left. You have the low cut frequency. Okay. So when you want to turn it on, just click on this button over here to turn it on and then choose the frequency that you want to cut. So let if say, for example, if you are doing acoustic guitar, because I have bass, so I may not want to compete with my bass and the drum. So what I can do is anything that is lower than 90.6 Hertz. Let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see clearer. Okay. So over here, anything that is lower than 90.6 Hertz will be row off. So you can see from the graph here, you can also use the graph to do that. But uh, down here will be easier if you, you can also move the graph a little bit to choose. Okay. Where do you want to roll off now? So for acoustic guitar, I think anything that is um, below 90 over 90.7, I'm good to cut. So let me just play a little bit so that you can hear Okay, so this is the full song. So let me just solo the acoustic guitar. Okay, so this is with the roll off. And when I turn it off. Okay, now, so that is the difference. So, of course, there are other EQ and other frequencies that you can try to use. Of course, here I've also activated a little bit of compressions with the slow compressions. So if I turn it off, it's just the EQ. I can boost a little bit on the highs. Let's say I want to boost and make it sound a little bit crisp. So I can choose to boost, let's say anything that is above 10 K. I will make a high shelf over here to boost it. Okay. Now, um, you can listen to using a headphone, then it is clearer. So I'll make the effect a little bit more drastic so that you can hear the difference. Okay. So I boosted about 11 dB. So from here, you can hear the difference. This is with, this is with, this is with. Okay. 
Now, so this is how you insert the channel strip. So let's say, for example, I want to add in another one. I can click the plus sign again and I choose another um, effect. So let's say I want to do a super effect. Okay, this is a distortion. Okay, this is a distortion. It might sound a bit weird. Okay, so let me just play for you to listen. Absolutely crazy, right? So you can also remove that. Okay, so this is how you add different different effects. Okay, over it. And in the next sessions, I'm going to share with you about how to add in the other effects create some space by adding in some reverb. So how do you get to that? We will be using the send channel. So if you can't see your send channel over here, probably it's because it's been hidden. Okay, let me zoom in for you. So this one you need to see. All right, so let me zoom in for you, okay? So over here, you should see a send channel. But if you don't see, don't worry. You just need to hover down. You can see these. Okay, and you pull up, ta -da, the sand is over here. So same thing, but the way Presonus Studio One works for the sand is a little bit different. Okay, so I will share with you next round. So today we are just looking at insert channel strips, so you can try it for yourself. We will see you next time. See you then. Bye bye.